Hey guys, it's FIFA L here and welcome to episode 40 of Last FIFA 14 and this episode got quite a few nice goals so look forward to those but apart from that we sold on a few players on our transfer list and uh, we're ready to head on into the semi-finals of the Champions Shield tournament but first off we just applied all our bronze players to the bench because they were running a little bit low on fitness after having played in the bronze bombers tournament in the last episode but into the semi-final we went and look at that pacey Premier League side, just uh, the average pace of that side is probably uh, in the 80s I'd say. But nonetheless, we are into the game and Kaka goes through and scores a beautiful goal after 9 minutes. Nice little goal from Kaka and he's turning out to be my favorite player in this squad. He's just really fun to play with. But if we continue on in this game, we ch take a shot from distance with Guerin. It is saved however, but we pick up a corner and straight from that, we'll head it in to make it 2-0. And we continue on, it's once again Guerin on the ball. Try out a shot from distance because, well, pretty much the entire midfield and attack can take shots from distance, making this a quite a uh, fun squad to play with. And uh, we get another chance here into the second half. We play a lovely through ball. Unfortunately, we couldn't convert it to start off with, but we pick up the rebound. We make it 3 0, and that is how the game ends. So, uh, a goal by Kaka, a goal from uh, Muriel, and one from Torres, I believe it was, to win us the game. And we are into the final of the tournament, and we'll play that game as well. Continuing with the 4-2-2-2 side and uh, this was a game where Kaka would show again how good he really is on the game and uh, I would say he's definitely worth the coins uh, even though it is around 80k coins I believe it is um, but I'd say he's still worth it and I'll probably try and use him in more squads in the future because he, like even though his strength is really really low he like uh, he's quite tall and the kind of the way his body is built on the game, he still feels quite strong on the ball in some way, and then his shooting is just very, very good, and he's smooth to dribble with, and uh, you'll see that in this game, but uh, the first off, we get a goal here, uh, with Moreno, a little bit lucky, and a few minutes later, it is Muriel on the ball, making his way into the box, but unlucky not to convert that one, but then in the 45th minute, we get a chance going here, we pass it back to Kaka, and other side, just to try out the shot from distance, and he fires that one into the top, corner to make it um, to make it 2-0 uh, and that was not a bad shot from Kaka uh, and a lovely finish into the top left hand corner and I had to watch the replays of this one because it was a very nice shot and uh, as I said we got a two goal lead and we continue on in the game 75th minute we find Kaka he turns around he flicks it up in the air and takes the volley to make it 3-0 and uh, at that point in time, the game was pretty much over. I won the final as I had that free goal lead. A nice little goal there. And we had a few more chances in the game. Moreno here, a nice sombrero overhead flick. We try out the shot, but it is straight into the hands of his keeper. And in the end, he will get a, a goal back uh, to make it 3-1. But it didn't really matter that much. And uh, we win the final 3-1. And that means uh, we get another trophy. We get 2,000 coins, which is quite nice as well. And uh, yeah, as I said, we can kind of update our trophy cabinet as we got another trophy. Now sitting on six championship trophies and 13 in total. And hopefully we soon enough can pick up the, the Bronze Bombers uh, trophy as well. That would at least be quite nice. So uh, that is the tournament we head on into next. Uh, we swap squad and we head on into the quarterfinals of the tournament. Going with our 4-1-2-1-2 Bronze side. And we come up against a 3-5-2 squad here. Quite a few players not in the perfect chemistry. And we only played 8 minutes and we break through. We find a Sardis here and we drag it back. We try out the shot. It is safe. We'll cross it back in. Sardis wants to get on the ball but he'll hit the bar unlucky and uh, it was a shame we didn't get a goal there but it didn't take long before we get another chance uh, and we get a shot in and Sardis is on the rebound to make it a 1-0 give us the lead and now look at this shot I don't even know how that one went in I just decided to try out a shot uh, he made a he, he made a stupid pass I picked it up and his keeper looked really bad in the goal there uh, I think it's a bit of a glitch on the game with the keepers. They don't really react to these long shots because he didn't dive before the very end, but he could see it coming from really far out. But it was kind of lucky in some way it went in, and it made it 2-0 for me, and I thought it was still a quite nice goal from distance, like 40 to 50 yards out. And uh, yeah, it gives us a two-goal lead, and that was pretty much how the game ended because into the second half, I didn't really create 
that much. Uh, but nonetheless, we won the game. We made our way into the semifinals of the Bronze Bombers tournament. And it was a game where I was sitting on most of the chances when there was some. Um, and we got ready, as I said, to head on into into the semi-finals, the final game of this episode, and we come up against a 4-4-2 squad, and this was going to be a crazy game with a lot of goals. Uh, we played a few minutes, and it switched player, and I tried to clear it away with the other defender. He chested it down to his player, get the rebound, and make it 1-0, but a few minutes later, Sanders wins a header to make it 1-1. Two minutes later, another corner, and he will head it in to make it 2-1. And then four minutes later, I will score a corner to make it 2-2. So four goals in 20 minutes. And it was far from over. 32nd minute, we find Fagundes. And what a lovely chip over the keeper, over the defenders. And he makes it 3-2. And straight from the kickoff, I am able to intercept the pass there with Sardis. And he will go past one defender, go past another one, make his way into the box. And make it 4-2, get his second goal of the game, and 45th minute, we are on the ball, we play it through to, uh, uh, I was told he's not called Nguyen, but Win or Wen, that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, but he picks it up, he goes through the rainbow flick over the key, but we get the penalty, and Sardis will complete his hat-trick there. And now look at this, straight from the kickoff, that spin looked really, really cool. It's like he shielded the ball and then turned around again, went past another defender, and then just scored from 30 to 35 yards, so what a goal from the kickoff, and the fourth goal from Sardis in the game, and my opponent decided to rage quit, I was trying to see if I can find the goal in the highlights, but unfortunately it was not there, so in the end, we end off the episode here, uh, after having won four games, a really good episode, with some nice goals I'd say, and we're sitting on seven wins, two losses, we've got 13 trophies now, and that is pretty much all, I hope you enjoyed the episode, we'll be back again tomorrow, and that's all, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.